going on next to Road to Rest Brilliance, it's your Ending Toxic, and today I'm going to show you guys how you can boost your FPS on any game and even make your computer faster. So first of all, let's just talk about FPS, what FPS is. So FPS is frames per second, and basically 0 to 30 FPS is like really bad and like it's terrible. You really do not want 0 to 30 FPS. 30 to 60 is good, it's alright. And then 60 plus, what I get is amazing. I go up to like 100 and stuff, that's excellent, okay? That's just good, that, that's what you want to reach for. So in this video, I'm gonna help you guys get to excellent, or if you're on bad, you can get to good. So first, you wanna go on to, if you're on Windows 10, you wanna press this little start button. If you're on Windows 7, you do the same thing, but instead of going on to the file explorer, there'll be my computer for you on Windows 10. But for us, Windows, oh, for Windows 7, for us Windows 10 users, we'll click on File Explorer. And then once we're here, we want to go onto this PC, right click and press properties. And it's going to tell you how much RAM you have. And the amount of RAM that we have right now is 6 gigabytes on my computer. Because I was actually, I actually have 8 gigabytes in reality, but my 2 gigabyte RAM stick is upstairs. And I was too, because I was working on my computer. It's a long story. I have 8 gigabytes, but like right now it says 6 gigabytes. And it says i3. Because I have an i5, but you know, long story too. <laughs> okay, so I was just changing up my computer, I was upgrading the specs, but I fell asleep while doing so. So all my weird parts are in here because I was testing it out. But if you have anything lower than, I guess, 6 gigabytes, 6 gigabytes is the minimum you should be if you want to play games. If you have anything lower than that, then you shouldn't go on to crucial.com. And I'll just leave this link in the description below. And you just download to the scanner. And what this will do is tell you which RAM you need to get. And then it'll tell you like a bunch of list that you can buy i used to use this when i didn't know anything about computer hardware but yeah you just press buy and you can get like it's going to tell you exactly what ram you need like what ram you can use what works on your computer and they're not too expensive and you're not going to break it i hardly doubt you're going to break it because these are really really strong and it's really easy to put in you just put it in the motherboard and that's it so next what you want to do is get something called razor cortex the link is right here razorzone.com slash cortex has boost Okay, the download button's right here, and then you press download now. So what this does is, it'll, wait, let me just restore this. You go on the boost section, and it'll basically close all the applications that you don't need, all the processes that are running in the background that are just wasting your memory, wasting your RAM, doing nothing, and lowering your FPS on literally nothing. So what you want to do is go on boost. If you know nothing about computers, you want to go on recommended. I honestly leave it on custom, but I'm just going to show you guys how to do recommended right now. Press recommended and boost now oh my goodness why is it gonna close audacity wow that was a close one <laughs> i was recording and i was about to close my audacity so yeah it's gonna close audacity and let's just press boost now it's gonna close everything that you don't need and as you can see it is almost finished boosting i just freed 126 megabytes of ram that's pretty good considering the fact that i only have six gigabytes on my computer right now so it might be stuck on 94% for you guys. For me, it does sometimes. I've seen other people's computers. It usually gets stuck on 94%. But they just want to wait until it gets to 100%. You know, while we're waiting, I'll show you guys the next thing. So this is the last thing you want to do. Oh, 100%. This is the last thing you want to do. Second last, actually. I'm going to show you guys two more tips. What else you want to do is go on here. And then you want to search up. Percent. Temp. Percent. And what this will do is bring up a folder that literally you don't need any of this stuff. You have to delete everything in here or your computer will lag and it'll lower your FPS for nothing. Alright guys, so once percent temp percent is open for you, trust me, it's going to be a bunch of files. For me, I literally just got rid of them a few minutes ago. So what you want to do is go on Control A and press delete. Not everything will be deleted because sometimes the process, like the things are still being used. You can get back to them later, like when you restart your computer or next week or something. And I recommend you do this every week because it will save a lot of storage and it will also save uh, memory. So once you do that, there you go. Your FPS should be increased. If not, you want to do this one last thing, which is going on the uh, like you want to update all your drivers. Make sure all your drivers are updated. And whether you're on a AMD or NVIDIA, just want to look it up here. The links will be in the description below. And what this will do is it'll you can download their automatic like um detectors and that'll update your drivers and driver updates are amazing because they will allow you to play newer games better games and that's it that's all i have for you guys as you can see i'm on this i go on drivers i am on nvidia right now and then once you're on drivers it's gonna say see look right now i haven't update i need to update 
and you know, just press download, it's gonna start updating. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to share this video with your friends if they need a video just like this to improve their gameplay and make sure to like comment and subscribe join the alien force and peace out guys i hope you guys enjoyed that video make sure to subscribe check out my other videos and smash that like button